Welcome to New Hampshire's Business. I am Fred Coker. Here's a quote from my guest. This, this century's biggest conflict is being fought in the economic domain. Cyber attacks, chip shortages, and misinformation are the new global weaponry. There is a heightened urgency to fuse government and commercial applications. The person I've quoted is Jeremy Hitchcock, who is a co-founder of two successful New Hampshire tech companies, uh, Dyne and Minim. And in the internet space, Dyne was bought by Oracle, by the way. And he's now the co-founder of a New Hampshire-based venture fund, New North Ventures. Uh, welcome, Jeremy. Nice to have you here. I'm going to look at this next graphic, uh, which uh, describes what you're doing. New North Ventures, early stage investment fund, access to national security community. Uh, they have that. Uh, to advance innovation in AI, which is artificial intelligence, cyber, critical infrastructure, to solve problems in the international interest, which is interesting, and looking for companies working in these spaces. Welcome. Nice to have you. Thanks for having me, Jeremy Fred. Hitchcock. Uh, before I ask you specifics, what has led you to personally get involved, not just in a fund to invest for innovation in some risks that are facing this country, but in the national interest? I thought that was interesting. Yeah, it's pretty unique. And being somebody who's grown up in the Internet days, uh, the Internet came from a collaboration between the commercial sector and the federal government. How can you build a network that's extremely resilient? And we're still reaping benefits on that network 75 years later, trying to push more information technology. The space yeah. program is a similar way. And you know, my dad happened to work at Sanders, and so I remember a lot of the types of things that he was working on in a you know, very diluted way, obviously because of security considerations, but just that notion of giving back seemed like the next thing I wanted to spend my life on. What size is this fund, or what size do you want it to be to invest? We're a $50 million fund, and we invest in companies that are early stage. So small team, they have some initial traction, they're working on some really cool problems. And have you made some investments already? We've made seven investments in some seven great companies. Uh, in New England, basically? Some in New England, some that are D.C. based, and some that are also around the rest of the U.S. You've made a uh, point to say that collaboration is more important than ever right now. Collaboration between the commercial and the public sectors, I assume. Yeah, I, I think there's been a lot of distrust that's taken place between the commercial and the federal sectors. And you can see that in, maybe it was Google with Project Maven, you had uh, some engineers who, who didn't really feel comfortable about the types of things that w they were working on. Mm. But when we look at the problem set that's taking place today around cyber, around AI, around chips, that collaboration is no more important than it is today. We have to work together, and that trust has to be rebuilt to bring people together to solve these chip shortages, these cyber attacks. So it's not just 18-year-olds who are doing cyber attacks. It's funded nation states who are doing What about the chip shortages? I mean, that has had a devastating effect in the last year in particular on businesses in this country and, and, and a lot of things that we probably take for granted. Yeah, it's amazing. We probably import more chips than we do oil. And so as much as we talk about energy, which is still a, a very you know, salient and, and, and relevant component, uh, chips are something that powers almost everything that we do. And a lot of that supply chain happens outside the United States. We have had an advantage making chips and designing chips. We still have an advantage in designing chips. We have to figure out how to bring that manufacturing back to be more resilient, move from just-in-time manufacturing to just-in-case manufacturing. And that's something that New England and New Hampshire has done a very distinguished job in and, and some of the things that we want to continue to push on. Artificial intelligence, that's the next frontier. Just talk about that. Yeah, lots of data. People are trying to make sense of it and, and turn it into something that's actionable. And one of the things that we enjoy doing is that some people in the, the federal government have had expert systems that they've used in a human perspective, and they're applying them into a AI machine learning based perspective to solve interesting problems. How can you take uh, tip of the spear capabilities that mm -hmm. the federal government has pioneered, turn them into commercial applications that have just uh, five, ten year advantages over what's going on in the commercial space? You put together an impressive team, including one person who has some national security background. Yeah, my partner, Brett Davis, is a former Central Intelligence Agency officer. He was a uh, Navy EOD diver, uh, but he got to work on a lot of these commercial partnerships. Uh, we met through someone at the Navy SEAL Foundation. Uh, we're looking at commercializing things out of a defense contractor, hit it off, and decided to go, go, uh, go do something ourselves after we, we realized you know, maybe we should do something on our own. Well, all the best to you and your colleagues. Jeremy Hitchcock, uh, co-founder of New North Ventures, a new investment uh, tool uh, for innovation in this country. Thank you. Thanks, Fred. And if you missed part of this briefing with Jeremy, you can go to WMUR.com, where it will be posted all this week.